Symptoms of the fear of poverty. Indifference, commonly expressed through lack of ambition, willingness to tolerate poverty, acceptance of whatever compensation life may offer, lack of initiative, imagination, enthusiasm, and self-control. Indecision, the habit of permitting others to do one's thinking, staying on the fence. Doubt, generally expressed through alibis and excuses designed to cover up, explain away, or apologize for one's failures. Worry, usually expressed by finding fault with others, a tendency to spend beyond one's income, neglect of personal appearance, sometimes lack of poise, self-consciousness and lack of self-reliance. Overcaution, the habit of looking for the negative side of every circumstance, thinking and talking of possible failure instead of concentrating upon the means of succeeding knowing all the roads to disaster, but never searching for the plans to avoid failure. Waiting for the right time to begin putting ideas and plans into action until the waiting becomes a permanent habit. Procrastination, the habit of putting off until tomorrow that which should have been done last year, spending enough time in creating alibis and excuses to have done the job. This symptom is closely related to overcaution, doubt and worry. Building alibis with which to explain away failure is a national pastime. The habit is as old as the human race and is fatal to success. Why do people cling to their pat alibis? The answer is obvious. They defend their alibis because they create them. A man's alibi is the child of his own imagination. It is human nature to defend one's own brainchild. Building alibis is a deeply rooted habit. Habits are difficult to break especially when they provide justification for something we do. Plato had this truth in mind when he said, the first and best victory is to conquer self. To be conquered by self is, of all things, the most shameful and vile. Another philosopher had the same thought in mind when he said, it was a great surprise to me when I discovered that most of the ugliness I saw in others was but a reflection of my own nature. It has always been a mystery to me, said Albert Hubbard, why people spend so much time deliberately fooling themselves by creating alibis to cover their weaknesses. If used differently, this same time would be sufficient to cure the weakness. Then, no alibis would be needed. <laughs>